So if you're a photographer that likes to shoot film, you know about that specific window of time between making a picture and then seeing the picture for the very first time. We all know and either love or hate that part of the process of film where we're just wondering if everything came out like how we actually envisioned there in the moment. That specific window of time and what it does in the process of all of this, that's really what I want to talk about today. So thank you all for joining me. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, and we'll talk more about them at the end of this video. I've been thinking specifically about time and what that does to a picture and our first impressions a lot lately because uh, I've kind of taken on a completely different approach to developing my film and the time frame of that uh, from how I used to do everything like for years. So um, it's just been a complete shift and I've gathered a lot of thoughts on it and I just wanted to kind of open up a discussion today. No matter how long you've been shooting film, if you've shot one roll of film, you know exactly what it's like to be waiting to see if everything turned out you know how you really imagined it and that sort of feeling of like wondering if everything is going to turn out it used to be much more technical and especially you know as i'm you know learning and growing and and trying to understand how all of this stuff works it was always like did i get my exposure right did i nail focus right you know it was that sort of thing and over time you just sort of get comfortable with that and you just sort of know like as, as long as my camera is in working order if it's there on that roll of film, it's good. It's not going anywhere like that. That picture is it's in there. But the fact that it's there and maybe it's well exposed or it's in focus, um, I'm, I'm less concerned about that. And the, the first like the first impressions of seeing the pictures for the first time and wondering if anything is actually there. Seeing new pictures I was making used to be like a daily part of the process for me, even with film, because I would you know, if I had any exposed film, you know, on my desk at the end of the day, I would make sure that film would get developed and then everything would be archived and caught up and, you know, it's taken care of. That was also when I was young and didn't have kids, but, you know, back then it was like I was just every single day just making pictures and seeing the pictures and, and sort of responding to it and, you know, judging the pictures like in real time and, and their moments and things that I just saw earlier that day. And at times if things got crazy and busy, you know, I would have like a backlog, but it was always something that I was keeping up to date with at least every week. I'm now at a point where after about six months, I've seen maybe one or two rolls of film from that entire time. And I've been shooting a lot. And in the last 18 years, I've never gone that long without seeing all of the pictures I've made in that time frame. Back when I used to develop my film daily or at least weekly, I would always have these really specific things in mind that I couldn't wait to see. And if I you know, could, I would get home from shooting and then I would immediately go in and develop the film just because I couldn't wait to see how something looked. You know, I was that excited about it. And I would either get excited if it worked out, I would get frustrated if it didn't. That was just part of my process of seeing pictures, you know, and I think that's pretty common for most people. Nowadays, after I shoot something, I'll think about it and I'll still have that kind of excitement, you know, for days or, or sometimes weeks, you know, and I'll think about that one particular scene or the light, you know, and I'll just, I'll obsess over it and daydream over it and then, out of nowhere one day just oops it's completely gone dad brain kicks in i'm trying to figure out where the remote is and nora's climbing on my shoulders elliot can't find his lego piece you know it's just it's it's all of those pictures that's gone it's gone and the thought of going this long without seeing all the pictures like years ago that would have just there there would have been no way but nowadays i love it because you know i'm just shooting and just every roll it just gets tossed in the bag you know and uh not gonna lie shooting the thumbnail for this video uh seeing all the film out there uh yeah that was scary i kind of had that feeling like oh what have i done but it's good i'm excited about it i'm about to start developing and getting caught up on everything and we'll be looking through all the pictures here and you know talking about all of it in the process but uh, I'm finally ready for it. I've just wanted to remove some of that bias and excitement in a way uh, from the process. And at first it was this kind of, you know, unintentional thing. Um, but once I realized I kind of forgot what was on, you know, the 10 or 12 rolls I had, I just continued to add to it and uh, I've really enjoyed it. And now I'm, I'm excited to see the pictures and part of me wonders, you know, now is it going to be, oh, I'm going to be too excited and then I'm going to be either way let down or the nostalgia and the, the surprise 
surprise, then that's gonna influence the pictures. You know, it's back and forth, it's probably a combination of all of it, but it is interesting to me, and that's why I wanna share it, because, you know, I've looked back at the last nine to 10 years of my life, and that's when I really started carrying my camera with me everywhere. And uh, to, to look back at all of that, I love that photography has, you know, made me appreciate all of the just subtle everyday things that, uh, you know, you often just overlook, you know, carrying a camera with me every day and, and, you know, engaging with that as just part of your daily life. That's, it's been great. You notice things and you appreciate things. And I think a lot of it for me used to be about remembering everything. You know what I mean? Like carrying the camera with me everywhere and soaking it all in. It's like, I would just, I would never lose those memories and, and all of that information. I don't know if that has to do with like family history with Alzheimer's or something, but that for me has always been such a huge part of photography is like, it's gonna help me just, you know, capture everything. And even having all of these pictures and everything recorded and documented, it all just feels like it went so fast. And and that was with years of always being on top of it, you know, and, and staying on top of the film and scanning all the film and, and just having all of those pictures and they're all, you know, where they need to be. And in the end, I've still got them, but I've still got all the pictures from the last six months. They're not going anywhere, you know? Letting myself just let go of that and just stay here, um, it's it's been the best. But all that to say, it is time to start seeing these pictures. So I've got my tanks and reels out. I'm gonna start getting caught up on this. Um, I've actually got more tanks and reels ordered because I've got my work cut out for me. So I'm looking forward to not only seeing the pictures, but just keeping this conversation going with you guys. So uh, if you're interested in this sort of thing and seeing the pictures and hearing all about the process, um, well, that's what I'm going to be doing. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed. But let's keep the conversation going in the comments down below. How often do you develop your film? Do you like to do it right away? Do you like to wait? Let's talk about it down below. Thank you all so, so much. I love you guys. And now we'll take a minute to pay some bills. And I'll tell you about our sponsor today, which is Squarespace. When it came time to launch mattdayphoto.com, I wanted to be able to control everything and change anything myself on the fly just to have the most flexibility. So that's why I signed up with Squarespace years before they ever sponsored this channel because they truly are the best. No matter what you need, it's all built right into Squarespace's service. So if you need to show your portfolio or run an online store, send out an email newsletter, everything you need is all in one place. It's also super easy to find a template that works for you and then you can further customize it to your own needs. Of course, as easy as everything is, Squarespace is always there to help. They have 24-7 award-winning customer service, so if you ever need help with anything, just give them a shout. If you want to give Squarespace a try and see how you like it, you can do that entirely free at squarespace.com. But when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash mattday. That'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Not only does it save you some money, it also supports the channel. So thank you and thank you to Squarespace. When it came time to launch mattdayphoto.com, I wanted to be able to control everything and change anything myself on the fly just to have the most flexibility. So that's why I signed up with Squarespace years before they ever sponsored this channel because they truly are the best. No matter what you need, it's all built right into Squarespace's service. So if you need to show your portfolio or run an online store, send out an email newsletter, everything you need is all in one place. It's also super easy to find a template that works for you and then you can further customize it to your own needs. Of course, as easy as everything is, Squarespace is always there to help. They have 24-7 award-winning customer service. So if you ever need help with anything, just give them a shout. If you want to give Squarespace a try and see how you like it, you can do that entirely free at squarespace.com. But when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash mattday. That'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Not only does it save you some money, it also supports the channel. So thank you and thank you to Squarespace.